I'm just again, I'm getting sucked right back in. So that that was that was hard, especially with the first woman because I was really putting my whole heart in, hundred percent. Um, there was nice actually when I would sit and I would start to cry. Prepare to be awestruck by one man's harrowing journey to find his soulmate in the far-flung reaches of Ukraine in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. Taking him over 7,000 miles from home into a hostile war zone where he was bombed, beaten, and kidnapped. Billy Sheffield is a 53-year-old small business owner from Kingston, New York. Despite his Herculean efforts, he has yet to find his soulmate. And his bank account has taken a staggering $43,000 hit to the cause. Yet Billy is absolutely determined that his story, well, it doesn't end until he finds his Ukrainian bride. His spirit remains unbroken as he continues to share his captivating story with us here today. So get ready to be inspired by Billy's tale of unwavering persistence. Now, you can see all episodes in our series, Billy the Kid Dating in Ukraine, in the description below this video. Please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed this content, and subscribe so you won't miss any upcoming videos in our Billy the Kid Dating in Ukraine series. Listen, we all know, right, that talk, it's cheap, real cheap, especially in the uh, international uh, online dating space, right? So how about I do something off the wall? How about I show you rather than tell you? Last live stream, talking about uh, Billy the Kid's international dating story, um, I did a poll. The poll question was, how helpful do you find our true client stories that are covered live, right? So as the client is dating with us, he's on his journey, you guys answered back with an 84%. It's helpful, Joe. So you guys asked and we have listened. We're bringing that to you full on. And we're doing a series right now. Uh, we're calling Billy the Kid Dating in Ukraine. Okay, so it's his full journey story. We already have six of these videos online. This is the seventh. They're all in a playlist. That playlist is in the description below. So you can catch up on the previous six um, videos with Billy. The idea here is that, you, of course, you guys have probably watched 90 Day Fiance. Maybe you've watched Millionaire Matchmaker. There's many you know, dating and online dating reality TV shows, right? But do you guys really think they're reality? <laughs> how, if you had to vote from zero to 10, you know, how would you, what, what would you score it? Maybe write me in chat. So yeah, Renee's saying scripted. Yes, of course. Um, reality two, two out of 10. Well, our goal here is to make this absolutely 100% transparent. So I'm doing everything I possibly can think of to make it 100%. I realize that's a tall bar, but when you follow him on his journey, you will see, you know, the mistakes that he makes. Maybe you, you can self-reflect and say, oh yeah, I, I, I see that in myself. Oh, really? That's a, that's a problem when you're dating Ukrainian ladies. Okay. Hmm. Note to self, right? So it will, trust me, will really help you on your dating journey. And, and, and if you haven't decided to um, you know, to go on this journey, then it will also help you with that decision because it's not an easy journey. It's not a cheap journey and it's just not for every man. So that's our goal is to be, you know, the world's first actual 10 out of 10 reality TV show uh, dating specifically in Ukraine. What we're going to do now is we're going to play uh, an intro reel essentially for Billy. <laughs> So let's roll camera, Billy the Kid, dating in Ukraine. Billy's for TV audition, who wants to marry a foreigner? Welcome, <laughs> Billy. Hi, Joe, how you doing? Fantastic. First question is, you know, why could you not find, you know, your future wife in America? What was that like for you? It's been a journey. I was married once. I thought I was marrying my best friend and I actually kind of did but there was the love you know we didn't, we were in love we loved each other but we weren't in love found out there was a difference and what is your your work I'm a business owner uh, run a courier transportation business so I've been looking in Ukraine now for about two years um, out of pocket around ten thousand dollars 
could be a little bit more. I started with a dating site called dot com where you just pay monthly and you can write as many women as you want. Started talking to a woman. Uh, we talked for approximately a week. We talked for a couple of more months. She continuously would ask me for money um, for various reasons, pay a bill, whatever. But what I started to learn is after I sent her the money, she disappeared. I Googled her name and boom, <laughs> it was like she was all over. 10 or 15 other dating sites. Um, I saw her name on a scam site. One guy said he gave her like over $100,000, which totally, I was shocked. Started looking at some other dating sites. I talked to a couple of women on there and I had women swearing to me that they were not talking to any other guys. I was the only one. Um, then I had a friend of mine he came over, he had a laptop, made a screen name, and I was talking to the one woman I was really interested in. And I had him click on request video chat with her. Boom. <laughs> He's on video chat with her, and I'm on video chat with her. Again, I'm getting sucked right back in. So that, that, was, that was hard, especially with the first woman, because I was really putting my whole heart in 100% um, there was nice actually when I would sit and I would start to cry because I thought I had met my one and that brought me here I started looking at some marriage agencies and see trying to see what's real because um, I don't I don't want that heartbreak um, I want something real. Anna's interview with Billy. Um, so I was in Ukraine when the war started. Um, I was in Kherson. Uh, they started dropping bombs and my hotel was about a mile from the airport. It took me four days to get across Ukraine, seeing the horror that Russia was imposing on the country, seeing the terror of the people, the women and children, and you know, just going through a lot at the border just to get across. And then I uh, actually got turned around and ended up back in Ukraine by myself. I, I lost my friends. There was a fight at the border. So I ended up, you know, getting frostbite on my feet. I slept outside for three days. I lost 22 pounds in six days. So my journey was to find love and everything. And then I also got caught up in everything that was happening in the country. I'm pissed at Match Guarantee. You're famous already on our channel, huh? I'm getting there, yeah, but I want it to be a good famous. <laughs> yes, well, we want that as well for you, Billy. Next, let's take a look at Billy's dating experiences with Match Guarantee. Billy's first date intro with Anna. The first call and it was just, it was like ice. It was like in the middle of a snowstorm. Billy's second video date with Victoria. Victoria, on the first, our introduction call was great it was wonderful everything you know we seem to have a real good connection everything was great i brought her flowers i showed her flowers i bought her a little gift to try to make it like you know if we would i would something i would do if we were doing it in person she in turn went and told you know the coaches in the office that i said i wanted to spend days and nights with her making it feel like she expected that as soon as i got off the plane she should be waiting at my hotel room in bed for me. Yes, because it sounds like that. She doesn't have to spend nights with you. She doesn't. She don't oh, have this obligation. When I was in Ukraine so the first never, time. Never try to speak even this way. Everything should happen naturally. She started saying um, to the coach that I was bothering her all the time or I was trying to push her. She started uh -huh. saying that I wanted to talk all the time. I'm a girl also. I know how you all behave you yourself. You are a girl, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice joke. <laughs> I want to feel a spark that's making me want to get on that okay. plane to go. Okay. How to do you think how do you think spark happens? By talking and sharing your feelings, your future, what you're looking forward to in the future, what your goals are. Do you have the okay. same 
the, it the same like interest? In, it sounds like interview. Why is the guy always in the wrong? Why is it not the woman's also has some responsibility in making sure that the the communication is going strong? Why is it 100% on me? I don't think that's fair. The feedback that we're seeing is that you're needy. Now these women are saying I'm needy and I'm going to defend myself because I just want to communicate. So listen, listen, Billy, I got to say this. It's harsh. It's going to be harsh. It's going to land on you harsh. It's going to sting a you little. You can say whatever you want. But you will never be successful unless you ditch the neediness. It's the kiss of fucking death, neediness. Everybody will run from you. This lady, do you know what she said about you? She asked for Titiana, how can I lie? I don't want to hurt this guy's feelings. How can I lie to get rid of him? What can I tell him to get rid of him politely? In the right conditions with the right woman that we're crazy about, some of us have simped. I have not only simped, I have been fucking pathetic. Just like me, you got to figure that shit out or you're not going to be successful. Do you want the magic pill? Two texts per fucking week. That's it and watch the women come to you give me some credit i am a confident man because i just throw i've thrown myself into the lion's den today with all these comments and being here on video i don't think many men would uh sit here and and go through everything that i'm going through right now hope you enjoyed that sneak preview of the billy the kid dating in ukraine journey series please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on these episodes coming to the channel real soon and please do us a huge favor and share on facebook It'll help out your fellow man if he's considering this journey and it'll also help him dodge a bullet. Take care. See you soon.